Honestly, guys, uh, doing legendary summits, uh, it never been this easy. Uh, with this build, you basically are a walking tank and still hit over 2 million damage. It's insane. I made this build not too long ago and I was impressed, right? Because I've been trying different things. As you guys know, lately, we don't have much content. So I went to summits. I said, let me try a pistol build, but with a tank, right? And I got to admit, this has got to be the easiest way that you can do legendary summit. So I wanted to share with you guys my template of my build for the best tank for solo players on legendary summit. With this build, you can hit over 2 million crit damage on the head and even with the body shots, you are over 1 million damage. And you still are a tank, walking tank, right? If you play it right, you're not gonna be dying at all. Uh, doesn't mean the build doesn't have a weakness, which is obviously you taking damage from your back because you have that big shield in front of you. So you wanna make sure all of the damage is coming towards that shield and have no enemies behind you. I think that's the weakest spot of the build, but if you play right and play smart, you can be very efficient with this build and still dominate the Simon Legendary Solos. The best part about this build is because it's a build that you can uh, complete, right? You can make this build right now, even if you don't play a lot, right? Because I feel like all of this piece, you can get them quite easily Be besides the backpack which is an exotic and it is a must for this build to be honest with you it complements this build so well you're gonna need this backpack right but i'm gonna explain in a minute how you can get this backpack because i know a lot of you guys been asking how you can get it but besides that uh the rest of this build I feel like you can achieve it pretty easy because the pieces are very easy to get Okay guys, so check this out. So this build is involved around the gear set, the foundry bulwark. Uh, now don't worry about it because there is two pieces of this gear set that are locked behind the raid, which is gonna be the chest piece and the backpack. But as you see on this build, we do not need this effect. I do not recommend uh, using them because we're gonna need these two brands that we are having here for this build. Now the foundry bulwark is a gear set that goes really well when you use bulwark ballistic shield and this is gonna be what's gonna make us tanky right so we have a total of 14 million 732,000 HP on this shield right that's gonna make us tanky and make us be able to sustain so much damage coming from the enemies now we're gonna have also a lot of active regeneration and also wholesale regeneration but that's not just it because we're gonna have also some regeneration when the fungible work gear set works which i'm gonna be explaining in a second now to achieve this amount of health we have a skill tier six as you notice on shields the skill tier works a little bit different it's not only the yellow also the blue core attribute or armor works towards that skill tier and we have four blues core attribute on this build and two yellow core attribute on this build we have the holster the gloves and the mask that has the blue and also we have the last one coming from the backpack and not only that the memento as you know it gives you all the three core attributes so we're gonna have another yellow from the memento and the last yellow to complement that sixth tier it's gonna be from the specialization the technician because technician gives you one skill tier just by having the specialization equipped so that's how we achieved a six uh, skill tier on this foundry bulwark which is the max okay so let's talk about the gear set itself now by equipping two pieces you get a 10% total armor by equipping three pieces you get a 1% armor regen and 50% shield health that's gonna come really handy to this build and then the fourth piece right will give you the makeshift repair so whenever you or your shield take damage 20% of that amount is repaired to both over 15 seconds so that's how we're gonna get more kind of armor regeneration for ourselves and also for the shield that we have in hand so that's what's gonna make us tanky especially because we have a talent on the chest piece that's gonna make us take a lot of damage i don't know if a lot of you guys seen this coming because i don't know if i saw a glass cannon on a shield build before but it actually works really well now going back to the gear set right the foundry bulwark as you see i have as i mentioned only three of these pieces with core attribute armor and that's because i don't need more right because i have the total 
that I need for the build. The last one, which is the knee pads, I have core attribute weapon damage. That's what I would recommend. At least one of them have core attribute weapon damage. For the attribute itself, that's honestly is gonna depend on whatever you want. Critical chance on critical damage to the build. On this build itself, I have a total for the pistol 27% critical chance, which is not a lot, and 92.8% critical hit damage. Now you guys might say that's not a lot at all, but I am still hitting a lot, right? Which 2 million crit damage. And that's because I am going for a headshot. I have 154% headshot damage on this build now let's go back to the chest piece there is a talent in here that is called perfect head hunter the perfect head hunter is another option in here that you could use if you want to go instead of glass cannon now the reason why i don't go with it because this talent is not consistent compared to the glass cannon this talent to take advantage of it you have to get a headshot kill so after killing an enemy with a headshot your next weapon hit with 30 seconds deal an additional 150 percent of that killing blow damage so this damage is kept at 800 of your weapon damage or if you have over 150 percent headshot damage which is what i have in this build this cap will be raised to 1250 percent right so that's why i go with the headshot damage on this build because i was trying headhunter and just uh, it works well but it's on my preference i go with a uh, glass cannon so that's another talent that you could use if you want on this build but just keep in mind it's only gonna apply that damage after you get the headshot kill and it will stay for only that first shot right so that's why i'm not using it instead of glass cannon now going back to glass cannon right all damage you deal is amplified by 25 percent it's not a lot of damage compared to head hunter right with a hand hunter i see like 8 million uh damage but honestly i prefer having the glass cannon that's a uh, more consistent damage right but glass cannon has a weakness right because all the damage you take is amplified also by 50 percent now keep in mind with this gear set and this build all the damage that you're taking you're gonna get healing back from that damage right so that's the glass cannon talent on the chest piece now on this chest piece right you see we have the brand set douglas and harding and because it gives you a 20% pistol damage by equipping one of these on your build. And this build is a pistol focused build, right? So we need that for the build. The core attribute is going to be weapon damage. Attribute we have headshot damage in here and critical hit damage. The mod is going to be another headshot damage, 9.5% last piece on the build and it's gonna be a very very important for this build is gonna be the memento backpack um i use this backpack in a lot of the builds but this build specifically i think it's a must because it gives you that two core attribute that we need core attribute armor and core attribute skill tier to make our shield achieve that six tier without having to sacrifice weapon damage and by having that we were able to if you notice change one of the core attribute on the bulwark knee pads for the weapon damage and that's why uh, i would say the memento backpack is a must for this build now the way you can get the memento backpack because a lot of you guys asked and said that you guys don't have this backpack i would say the simple way to get this is going on summit changing the target loot to backpacks and just farm summit on heroic or a legendary right but i would say just go and farm this on heroic for now until you get the backpack and make this build and then you can change that for legendary and the talent as i said many times so you get uh trophies by killing enemies these trophies will give you uh weapon damage bonus armor and skill efficiency depending how much you have on the build when it comes to red blues or yellow core attributes the second part of this backpack talent will give you a 30 percent weapon damage 30 percent skill efficiency and three percent armor regenerations for five minutes once you have the maximum stack of 30 from those trophies picking up from the floor so it's a pretty good backpack for the build because it gives you everything that you need for this build skill efficiency especially because if you don't know what skill efficiency means it's basically everything skill related so skill health skill haste skill repair and skill duration so all of that is going to come really handy for your shield especially that part when it gives you that 30 percent skill health 
for your shield right that's a 30 percent skill health making this shield a lot tankier on this uh build right so keep that in mind now speaking of skill efficiency right we have also a skill in here that's not used a lot and is a very special skill right it's called the artificial hive this skill is only acquired once you have equipped the specialization technician the artificial hive sends out micro electro booster drones that expands themselves to increase allied skill efficiency and refresh their duration right this is more skill efficiency that you're gonna get for your skill so the buff amount on this build is gonna be a 30 percent so we have skill tier 2 that's gonna be a 30 percent buff for 10 seconds so that's another 30 percent health for the shield if you think about it because that's what i said it is skill efficiency okay so let's talk about the weapons now so the primary and secondary honestly it's whatever you want right because that's not the focus that's not what we use what we use is gonna be the sidearm so a pistol and in this case we're using the liberty exotic pistol a very strong pistol as a fact one of the strongest i think in the game the second one right the first one is gonna be the one that you can get from the raid iron horse so for the liberty exotic pistol you get core attribute pistol damage and then attribute 10 percent damage that got of cover which is really good for any weapon right now the talent liberty or death hits grant two percent weapon damage and then stacks up to 30 times so you can get up to 60 percent weapon damage if you hit your enemies on the body shot now once you get a headshot right it will consume all of those stacks repairing your shield for three percent per stack so pretty pretty strong right i try to go always for headshot so i'm not using it talent the most but if you want to go for body shot the most and then try and achieve that 30 stacks and then go for the headshot that's a good way of taking advantage of this talent either way this pistol will hit very hard without having that buff also all right guys so that's the build for you guys honestly i like i said i never seen legendary on summit done easier than this i've done legendary with no problems with many other builds um i have on the channel but honestly this one makes it just easy i think anybody with these builds can solo legendary summit with no problem so if you have not done legendary yet this is the best way i would say to go and get it done this is going to be my tank build to go for any legendary if i want to go for a tank build and yeah so let me know what you guys think of this build have you guys tried something similar what is your change that you would do to the build in the comment section below so i appreciate you guys support if you're new to the channel subscribe if you like the video hit that like button i would appreciate if you want to become a member click that join button next to subscribe and uh, yeah i appreciate all of the support so i'll catch you guys next one peace Thank you.